Hello, my name is Sid Norris. In recent years, I've been developing new processes for combining known, robust methodologies of technical analysis with the goal of finding a combination of disciplines that provides greater predictive power than the individual parts. My main method of technical analysis for many years has been Elliott Wave and its associated Fibonacci price targets. That's not going to change. There's a lot to like about the wave principle. For instance, it allows the unfolding of internal wave structures, whether in five waves or three waves, to determine what is most likely to occur next. It also provides for specific price targets because there is a high likelihood of recurring Fibonacci relationships between certain numbered or lettered waves. Additionally, Elliott Wave keeps wave counts pointed in the right direction by supplying invalidation points, where we can rule out certain eventualities. However, after years of trading using the wave principle alone, I found that there are many times where the addition of a technique that projects the duration of waves would be most helpful. This is why I've been weaving Hurst cycle analysis into my wave counts in recent years. Several decades back, an American engineer, J.M. Hurst, discovered that beneath the surface of market price movements, there are a number of cycles of differing durations operating simultaneously all the time. He was able to identify cycles of numerous durations, including 20-day, 40-day, 80-day, 20-week, 40-week, 18-month, and 4.5-year cycles. All of these cycles are applying price pressure to the markets all the time. When the majority of cycles are currently applying upward pressure, price goes up. When the majority are applying downward pressure, price goes down. Sometimes, most, if not all, of the cycles align, and that is when price pressure is the greatest. Let's look at a couple of examples of how I use Hurst cycle analysis to assist in determining which Elliott wave count is most likely to be correct. In this example, after price moved down in a five wave impulse, into an 18-month cycle trough. Subsequent price movement so far has moved up in three waves. As Elliotticians, we can label the upward movement as A, B, C, or 1, 2, and wave 3 underway of an eventual five-wave move to the upside. But which of those wave counts is most likely? There are many times in Elliott Wave where there's just no way to know which of these future outcomes is most likely. This is where Hurst cycle analysis comes in very handy. As we look forward in time, Hurst analysis, as generated by Sentient Trader Software, is projecting date ranges where the next 18 month and four and a half year cycles are likely to bottom. As you can see, with an 18 month cycle due fairly soon, it is quite doubtful that price would continue higher, making a wave three peak at about the same time as a large cycle trough is due. The bearish count is therefore much more likely in this example. But what if the future projected cycle crests and troughs were as shown in this slide instead? With a 20-week cycle crest still expected in the fairly near future, under this Hurst cycle scenario, it is much more likely that price will continue higher in a third wave, making the subsequent 40-week cycle trough likely to align with the coming wave 4 bottom. 
Imagine the power of this combination. Ultimately, I've found that combining Elliott Wave with Hurst cycle analysis provides higher confidence wave counts than using the wave principle alone. There are a number of ways you can take advantage of my combined Elliott Wave and Hurst cycle analysis. For instance, my weekly counts webinar, where I go over all of my Elliott Wave counts and associated Fibonacci price targets from many of the world's major stock markets, commodities, currencies, and bonds. Multi-time frame Hearst cycle analysis and Elliott Wave is combined and considered on virtually all items. A recording of the webinar is made available to subscribers, whether they can attend live or not. Alternatively, if you don't have time for a two and a half hour webinar, there's my EWP screenshot service, which includes both Sunday and Wednesday editions each week. Each edition includes weekly, daily, 240 minute screenshots of the S&P 500, German DAX, gold, oil, TLT bonds, the US dollar index, and the Euro US dollar currency pair. By the way, all Counts Webinar subscribers receive EWP screenshots as a free bonus. Additional offerings are shown at my site. As always, I hope my work is most beneficial to you. Thanks for watching. Thank you.